This is stage 2 of the custom fit demonstration in Copycat Pro. We will be customising the design of a motorcycle helmet. In doing so, we will be demonstrating Copycat Pro as a tri-breed modeler capable of working with surfaces, solids and triangles. In this demonstration, we will be showing solid morphing, the creating and editing of surfaces, and our powerful triangle wrapping wizard to wrap complex 3D designs onto our existing model. If you click the associated image inside the HTML rolling demonstration, it will load the model at this stage. We can see that we have triangle mesh scan data of a model's head. If we turn this off, the triangle mesh model of the head we can see that we have a simple helmet design. This consists of an outer and an inner design. If we turn off the inner portion of the helmet, we're left with the outer skin, which is currently a solid model. We can see this here. If we turn on level 10, it offers us some simple construction geometry to help us morph and modify this outer helmet. So with the helmet selected, we can open up our solid morphing feature. We're going to be using the curves to assist us. If we enter our advanced form, we can select the curve representative of the current condition and also the curve representative of our desired position. and that has actually morphed the entire helmet to that outer curve. So we're just going to apply a limit to that morph. You can see the two blue bars defining the outer extremities of the limit. We can take hold of these and dynamically drag them into position. We can then release them to define the area that we want the morph to affect. And you can see what this has done. It has created a peak on the helmet. If we turn on level 11 now, we can see that we have quite a detailed curve at the side of the model. We're going to wrap this around the helmet to create a detailed and quite complex pattern around the side of the helmet. As I said before, Copycat Pro offers the functions of tribrid modeling, working with surfaces, solids and triangles. At the moment we're working with a solid here, so I'm just going to select that and convert it into a surface model. With this outer surface selected now, we can open up our wrapping wizard. We can either select the objects we wish to wrap or we can import them. Here we can just select this curve We can select the method we want to use to wrap the curve. Start making alterations to how we wrap that. If we move the helmet over so we can see the modifications that we're making. Using, using the sliders here to just modify the wrapping of the curve. We can finish that. If we turn off level 11, take a look around the helmet you can see that the curve has been neatly wrapped around the outer surface of the helmet. And we're going to use this to influence the next stage of the design process. So if I create a small arc, specify the radius of it, we can then use our intelligent cursor to snap to a key point. With the curve selected, or the arc that we've just created selected, we can open up our surfacing wizard. You can see that it has generated a surface automatically in that area. If we shift and select the curve that we have wrapped onto the outer surface of the helmet, it will also take this curve into consideration 
in the generation of the surface. You can see it has updated and modified the surface that it has automatically generated. We can also see that certain areas of the surface are correct. So if we enter the advanced tab and alter the interpolation, that has given us a satisfactory result. You can see that we now have a 3D design all the way around the outside of the helmet. Just going to put a small fillet between this new design and the outer surface of the helmet. So if we select the new surface, open our filleting form, we can see that this has created a neat small fillet between the new surface used to create the design and the outer surface of the helmet. If we select the outer surface now, we can use our paste attributes function. This will paste things such as the style, color and material properties of the outer surface to our new surfaces. We can see the new design that we've created. If we turn on level 17 now, we can see we have an array of triangle models. We're going to use our triangle wrapping wizard to wrap these onto the outer surface of the helmet. So if we select the center surface and the outer surface of the helmet, open up our triangle wrapping wizard, we can select the object that we wish to wrap onto the helmet, select the method we wish to use to wrap it, we can see the object, a ghost outline of the object on our outer surface of our helmet. Using these tabs we can make alterations to its position and size. can make alterations in here. If we turn off level 17, we can see the triangle wizard has wrapped a detailed and complicated 3D triangle model onto our surface model. And on our enhanced shading, we can see that we have used Copycat Pro to demonstrate its tribrid modeling functionality. We have shown solid morphing, creating and easily editing surfaces, and a powerful triangle wrapping wizard to wrap the 3D complex design onto our existing model.